Hey, man. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. Listen up, man. We finna compare NBA 2K24 to NBA 2K23. We're gonna clarify this Sim Nation situation. There's a lot of YouTubers out here lying. It's a lot of people lying. I don't understand why. We're gonna talk about the new season rewards, etc. But before we get into that, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you are new. Help me hit 275k.4. We are like 20 subscribers away. Make sure y'all hit that like button. It helps Young Swan grow. Don't be a hater. Now, 2K drop this screenshot of Wimby, the 7-5 shot career that is going to break NBA 2K24. Y'all let me know if y'all think that they're really going to allow you to make a 7-5 shot creator. You can already make shot creators at 7 foot. Y'all just not hit. But um, but look, y'all remember from my last video, uh, this guy was talking about... <laughs> this guy was talking about Jason Tatum. The tweet got like 5 million views, right? <laughs> And he was talking about his armband. <laughs> and now he's saying they literally already have the wrong arm sleeve on this mother. And I <laughs> and I thought I saw he got a haircut <laughs> at the rate they've updated Kyrie and LeBron. Maybe we'll get that option in 2K31. Bro, people was telling me he wasn't trolling. I don't know. I guess that's his thing, but. Whatever, man. That that stuff is just funny to me, man. And then we got the Wimby right here, man. He looking very translucent. Y'all let me know if y'all think this is a W. Now let's compare these hoes. Your man Germ done dropped a screenshot of the differences, you know? Y'all let me know if y'all like the differences. This is more blurry, so you can't really compare it. Y'all let me know what y'all think look more realistic, man. Y'all let me know if y'all just care about the gameplay like the swan. Now look, Double H makes a tweet saying, it's a big misconception that casuals like seasons, right? And he has a point. Here's why. Most casuals can barely hit level 40, just like he's saying. They really can't, cause it's hard for me to hit level 40 with how much I, I play, like how busy I am IRL, and like making content and stuff to actually hit level 40, it is a, a little struggle for me. And it is for other people with, that have a female, y'all know how much attention they need, and that have a job or whatever else. If you got other stuff going on, it's actually hard to hit 40. And y'all understand that the rewards that you get are terrible the better rewards are towards the end so you're not even hitting those rewards right that could be somewhat that you like the real issue between not having seasons and having seasons is the if you're gonna have seasons the rewards have to be dope okay they, they gotta be dope they gotta be way better they gotta stop being copy paste they have to deal more with the gameplay. They gotta be more exclusive, gotta be way more mascots. I've made so many videos on how they could implement so many different rewards that everyone, the whole community would love, but um, I'm not gonna go over that in this video. Y'all let me know what rewards you would like to see in 2K24. Now I made a viral tweet, right? NBA 2K18 is better than NBA 2K23, undebatable, right? It went viral and it sparked a lot of conversation in the community, right? Now this chop guy is gonna make a tweet, right? By the way, keep in mind, okay, backstory. Me and Chop used to be cool, right? You know, he used to be a supporter of mine in 2K16 when he had a negative win percent. We was all in a group chat, man, I remember. One of the weirdest moments of my life. It was during 2K18, and he was trying to explain to me why 2K18 was better than 2K16. I lost my mind and I blocked him. He's been blocked since. How many years has it been? Yeah, uh, if anybody tells me 18 is better than 16, I'm blocking you. Like, I'm not playing. Like, <laughs> I don't have to deal with that that type of like mental illness. I, I do not care. But uh, Chalk says, the fact that the 2K community is trying to rewrite history and say that 2K18 was a good game is the reason why the devs don't listen to anything we say. Nostalgia is insane, that game sucks. Hold on, bro. Isn't 18 like his favorite 2K? I'm confused. <laughs> Bro, who said 18 was good? All I'm saying is 18 was better than 23. You feel me? I still say the game is horrible. That's what I was trying to explain to you back then, right? And y'all let me know how y'all feel about it, man. So I went and wrote a novel because he dropped this whole video, right? Very toxic, very toxic. And wait, wait, when people say this right here, why the devs don't listen to anything we say, so toxic, so pandering. 
right? There's been some, sometimes the devs listen to what we say. Sometimes they don't, but that's such a lazy argument, bro. They took Sniper out, didn't they? They uh fixed the adrenaline off ball, didn't they? That wasn't because the casuals, okay? Sometimes they listen, sometimes they don't. So stop that argument. I could come up with plenty of times they listen, plenty of times they didn't listen, etc. So stop that, bro. So he dropped an eight minute video, right? I would react to it, but it would take too long. But I wrote a novel. I ain't going to read it. But if you want to go through, listen to what he say and read what I say, I completely debunk everything he says and destroy it. People like to like use this whole nostalgia thing, bro. Like we're not the most advanced species in the world. Like we can't compare two things accurately. And just because one's a little older, like it just completely blinds us, bro. That, that bro, if you're stuck on that mindset, that means like nothing you ever do in life matters because it's just there's no point like <laughs> it's just all nostalgia it's just... bro that mindset like the whole your whole past don't matter all this and that it, it is such a toxic mindset bro seriously but yeah now let's talk about this sim nation stuff man there's a lot of lying youtubers and creators out there trying to say that people are jealous of sim nation because they're getting clout or something right first off what clout where where is a sim nation with clout that's not short form where where is it where is the sim nation stream you know where where is it where they're making revenue off this home that's clout where where are where are the youtube sim nation guys where are the youtube what where, where are they i don't see them, right just because someone pulls uh, some random amounts of views on short form now here is how everything began I'm gonna break it down to you again, man. Anytime one of their clips go viral, they start talking trash, saying this is what takes real skill. They're all trash. This is how 2K should be played. And a bunch of casuals, you y'all might be watching this, you might be casuals too, but walk with me. It's time for evolution, man. 90% of the 2K community are Sim Nation, right? Because they all are casuals. Sim Nation is the negative 1% casual. Literally, they think like them. They are them to a T. And, and, and guess what? 70 or 80 or 90% of them actually think they're better than meta players. They think they're better. They call us out. They call us trash. They disrespect us. They spam our tweets. They spam our DMs. They spam our YouTube videos and they challenge us, right? They discredit everything we've ever did, everything we work for, saying we're just some cheese or all that and we're not good. And they legit think they can beat us. They legit think we're be they legit are challenging us bro literally i get challenged all the time and it's the same archetype of person they literally think they're better than you even if they have a horrible win percent if they're own for owing they literally you can hear it in their voice. You can see it in their words. We get novels, bro. You know how many novels I get of grown men just attacking me, bro? You feel me? Just attacking me. And there's some negative 1% NPC. This is why we are fighting back and defending ourselves. It's not because they're getting some views or whatever. We don't even view that as anything, bro. It's not. We could replicate the same thing. You already see it. Comp players are literally copying the tweet format and getting tons of views. It's not hard, bro. Anyone can do it. So the, the lying YouTubers have to stop, you know? And then other Twitter content creators and all that, y'all got y'all gotta stop lying on the net. The, it's, it's, it's really sad. You know, I started this whole uh, narrative that Sim Nation and casuals, that they're all envious of us uh, content creators and, and meta players, bro. That's why they cry so much and try to ruin the game, even though they don't play us, right? And, and I, I try to tell people the reason is because they see our video they see clips but they never play us the normal casual who hides in certain modes they'll run into us every one out of 10 or one out of 15 games right in in the park in no squad in the wreck they never play us so why is it such a big fight like they're always playing us right why are they ruining the game for themselves and us it's because they're envious they think they can replace us if the game change they think they can become us a lot there's a lot of people that want to be us they want to change this whole game it doesn't matter what you do we're always going to be the best you feel me y'all took out speed boost and in 2k16 the top players still dogged you i was going crazy you feel me 
There's been moments where y'all have completely changed the game and we still dominated. Y'all didn't come out of hiding. You stayed in your mode. You didn't come out of hiding and start trying to play better people. So just relax and just have fun, bro. Stop trying to ruin the game. But look, as you can see, this guy right here, like he challenged stats. He genuinely thought he could beat them. You feel me? He got destroyed, right? And most dissemination is a negative win percent casual. Most casuals are horrible win percent players. Most people talking on Twitter are horrible win percent players. Every time a clip go viral, everyone under the tweet quote retweeting it, everyone under my tweet attacking me, all that stuff, they're negative win percent casuals, right? They're bashing us. This is why we're fighting back. You feel me? You know, that Nomad guy, he called people out in a clip that got like 400K. So you went and got stepped on, right? There's other Sim Nation guys that are challenging people open. Splash done took out uh, some of them too, right? This guy right here, he played him, beat him by like a hundred, right? Dude genuinely thought he was better. This is why we're all tweeting and all that. And when when uh they go play them, bro, they're getting like quadruple their viewership so people are saying no one cares and stuff for some reason it's insane to me that the community's gotten so bad that there is a wager for no money and it's literally quadrupling someone's views to play versus them right like 2k's gotten that bad a stupid comp player 250k my team went, uh stats uh, a known dribble god that's comp at the game every year negative win percent players are wagering these people <laughs> and it's and it's quadrupling their viewership that like the community's insane because the views are rising because those people actually think those people have a chance like it's it's, it's a crazy delusion bro i don't know man see look even splash said just post your clips and chill you know no no one has problem people been doing that people been post fading dressing up as people you know but when you start disrespecting people uh but yeah man Y'all go watch my reaction to uh, the wager between Stats and the Sim Nation head, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.